We're very excited to welcome you to Deering High School Senior Last Assembly in this very special year of 2020. We'll begin our event tonight with a video welcome from our two senior class presidents, Gabriel Mbambi and Ronald Sanchez. Hi, I'm Ronald Sanchez, one of the senior class presidents. And I'm Gabriel Mbambi, the other class president of the senior class. During these current events, sadly, we cannot do this event in person. COVID-19 has taken a lot from the senior class. However, this virus has not taken our perseverance to do what needs to be done as a community, like they say, together, apart. Many of the evening's awards honor the memories of cherished friends and relatives who made a difference. And through a generosity of spirit and resources, a difference may be made in your lives. Even if it's just to have your hard work acknowledged, maybe someday you will have the chance to pay it forward with similar selfless intent. So settle in, get comfortable, and let's get this event started. Tonight, we will present awards. Our presenters will introduce the award and the honoree. We will show an image of the student receiving the award and their name. We will hear a brief pre-recorded poetry by Daniela R. Yi. We will then hear awards read by faculty while photos of recipients are shown from a slideshow. Finally, a brief closing address by us, the co-presidents. Please welcome now to present our first award, Senator Heather Sanborn. Um, so I am so pleased to present this legislative certificate of achievement um, and happy to be here and welcome you all to this very strange senior last assembly. I am myself a Deering High School graduate, so I have fond memories of uh, senior last assemblies that looked a lot different than this one. Nonetheless, I want to uh, celebrate Sarah Riggins. Uh, she is your valedictorian and has had just remarkable academic achievement. But she also led the effort to raise money to purchase sports jobs for her fellow student athletes. She, was, she made during the first high school in the nation to do so. Wow commend her on her leadership and her compassion as demonstrated through this project. And we wish her all the best in her future endeavors. We'll be sending her a letter in the mail at this point to commemorate her uh, certificate of achievement. And then once the legislature is able to go back and start generating certificates of achievement, uh, we will make sure that she gets that um, special certificate in hand. Congratulations, Sarah. All right, and I have a second um, legislative certificate of achievement to award as well to Glynis O'Meara. She is your salutatorian and has had an, again, remarkable academic achievement. Her guidance counselor tells me that she spent time tutoring her classmates in preparation for the SATs and reviewing drafts of their college essays as she herself was also preparing for college. She tells us that she aspires to enter the world of politics, which thrills me because we're gonna need a whole new generation of people who are willing to jump into the fray and take the lead, particularly smart young women. And so again, we commend you on your achievements and I look forward to getting you your certificate once the legislature is able to reopen. Congratulations to both of you. Congratulations and thank you, Senator Sanborn. I'd next like to welcome our next presenter, Neil Ryan. There it is on the screen, as you can see. So this is a, a scholarship in, uh, in tribute in uh, memoriam of my uh, brother, Kevin, uh, which I'll be speaking to here momentarily. Um, but I do just want to uh, thank the administration at Deering for allowing us to speak this year virtually. Uh, obviously, this is a very different year for everybody and uh, certainly feel for the senior class uh, out there not being able to do this in person with, uh, with all your classmates. Um, but uh, it does give me a good reason at least to finally have a, a good clean shave and actually wear a uh, reputable collar shirt as opposed to the, uh, the typical t-shirt that I've been wearing working from home for the past several months. So, so thank you for that at least. Um, you know, personally, it's a little, little bit disappointing that I'm not, not able to uh, drive up this year as I typically do. I live in Massachusetts now. Um, and uh, typically I would stop off at, uh, at my house in North Deering or my parents' house in North Deering. 
pick up my father, my ninety-two uh, year old father Ed, and he would uh, he would join me at the ceremony, and he'd be sitting in the audience while I'd be presenting. So uh, a little bit disappointed because typically after the uh, after the ceremony we'd cut out a little bit early and head down to Bruno's and grab a couple of beers and have dinner. So unable to do that this year, which is uh, disappointing, but uh, certainly understandable. Um, and on a personal note for me, this is actually a very notable year. Uh, I am a member of the class of 1990, which means that this is somehow amazingly my 30th, um, I don't know, reunion year, I guess is what we call it, um, 30 years out of school. So uh, that's, uh, that's just bananas. That's been that long that I've been out of school. So uh, time certainly does fly by. <clears throat> In terms of the uh, in terms of the award for my uh, in my brother's name, Kevin. Uh, first of all, who was Kevin? Well, we've got a little bit of a different uh, format this year. So as opposed to past years when I'm up in front of the gymnasium, uh, I couldn't do this, but now I can. So right in the middle there is a picture of my brother Kevin, and that's his uh, his two children, Corey and Aaron. And that's a picture from about oh, 14, 15 years ago. So that's Kevin. I think we have some similar characteristics. His hairline's a little bit better than mine was at this age, though, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> but that's, uh, that's Kevin. And wh who was he to me? He was my big brother, the guy I looked up to, uh, 12 years older than me, um, which I know sounds a little strange. And uh, today is more a modern family where uh, kids are sort of bunched a little bit closer. But uh, I think I come from a last of uh, um, a generation of um, uh, bigger and larger families that are spread out over a course of uh, many years. So, uh, yeah, 12 years difference between me and Kevin. Um, there's actually 17 between me being the youngest and my older sister. So, um, Kevin and I had a shared appreciation, even though we had 12 years difference. Um, we had an appreciation for Springsteen music for the 1980 Celtics and Larry Bird, um, and for skiing. He was the one who taught me how to ski. He was the guy I looked up to. He was my big brother. <clears throat> in terms of who Kevin was in the community, uh, Kevin was basically somebody who valued service, um, to others above self. He was a friend of many, and his friendships knew no social bounds. He was an active participant in the community, church, with his children. He's always had, he always had concern for welfare of others, even if uh, things in his own life weren't going well at that time. Athletics, he was always somebody who put the team ahead of self. Kevin lived his life to his fullest. He enjoyed any time spent with family and friends. And don't take that for granted. Uh, and he didn't take that for granted. He had a smile that lit up a room. He had a giving heart, one that embraced all the, uh, all of those who were ever fortunate enough to know him and considered him a friend. So I'm happy to say that many of these fine qualities uh, are, are the qualities that are uh, um, uh, present in the, uh, in the recipient of, of this year's scholarship award. Uh, those, uh, just a, a few highlights of this individual. Uh, the individual is in the top 10% of the class. Uh, he apparently was the state debate champ at one point. Not sure if that's this year or prior years. Uh, and he was uh, not afraid to engage fellow students on Im immigration policy discussions, uh, something that uh, I can only imagine as 17 or 18 myself ever possibly even uh, having, a, having a chance or consider it doing. Um, but those are just a couple of highlights that show this individual's fine, uh, fine character as well as his leadership skills. Uh, and with that being said, I'm happy to present this year's Kevin Ryan Memorial Scholarship to Aiden Reed. Congratulations, Aiden. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Welcome. Our next presenter, uh, our next presenters are Greg Poulos and Theana Pateropoulos. Hi. Uh, oops, don't my video. Hi, I'm Theana Pateropoulos, and this is my brother Greg Poulos. And the first thing I want to say is the most important thing that can be said tonight, and that is congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. You did it. I'm excited for you. All right. Um, George Poulos was our father. Um, he was a teacher back in the 70s at Deering and a coach of basketball as well as of golf. And I'm a, I'm a graduate of 72. My brother's a graduate of 70. Um, and 
Uh, we've been giving, presenting this award for 41 years. So um, it's been very meaningful for us to be able to contribute toward the tuition of, a, of an athlete um, uh, college, going to university and college. And uh, this year is no different. Uh, so our father was someone who had a personality of when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And we understand that the recipient of this award is very similar and has, again, has demonstrated fine character and great leadership. Okay, um, this year's recipient, uh, we're the whole Poulos family and we've had some people that we've lost very recently, but uh, we're proud to present this scholarship to Daryl Germain and Daryl, uh, you will want to contact the school and a letter will be sent to you that contains um, instructions on that check that will be made out. We believe you're going to USM. So hopefully this will be helpful to you and we wish you the very best of luck. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations and much success in the future, Daryl. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Poulos and, Paterop and Ms. Pateropoulos. Our next presenter is Mark Jacobson. First of all, to echo Kevin's sentiments, it's always uh, great to come up to my alma mater and, and see everyone. I know this is uh, an odd year, so I'm hopeful this is just a, a little speed bump of life and I'll be able to get up there next year. So today, and I, and I miss seeing Mrs. Poulos and everybody else uh, that is part of these, this, great, uh, this great event. So I'm gonna give two awards out today. Uh, one is uh, the Stephen Brent Jacobson Scholarship Award in honor of my brother. And the second is the Zerner Student Athlete Scholarship uh, uh, on behalf of uh, a classmate and one of my very best friends, Jay Zerner. So first, the Stephen Brent Jacobson Scholarship Award. Uh, this award was established by my family and friends in memory of my brother, Stephen, who was a 1981 graduate of Deering. Uh, he passed away in 1983 at the age of 20 from injuries he sustained after being hit by a drunk driver. So from someone whose life changed forever due to someone else's poor decision, I urge all of you to be careful during this time of celebration and make sure you look after your friends as well. So just a little bit about my brother. He was an amazing young man with great values, thanks to our parents. He cherished his family and friends and was always there to help and support them. He had an infectious smile that would light up a room. Very motivated student. He was a leader on the sports field, being elected co-captain of his basketball and baseball teams at DHS. He played college baseball at University of New Hampshire. He had a really innate ability to connect with young kids and spent a lot of time coaching uh, youth sports teams. Needless to say, uh, he's a very special young man in many, many ways. My family and friends are very proud to have his legacy continue through this award. This award is given to an outstanding senior who demonstrates outstanding character and qualities of life. Uh, these things define my brother. Uh, I have to be honest, when I was informed of this year's winner, I was uh, pleasantly surprised, I have to admit. This one's a little extra special to me personally. Uh, uh, tough to say this, but her dad and I were uh, best friends growing up and we literally walked to school every day, starting in junior high school. Um, I'll leave the stories of our shenanigans together uh, for a different time. This year's winner is a remarkable young lady with a fierce determination to prove herself. However, her accomplishments have been earned with passion, respect, and humility. As an athlete, she was on the basketball team for three years and also played softball. She must have gotten her athletic ability from her mom, though. Uh, her dad was a decent athlete, but not good enough. She was a member of the student senate and mentored underclassmen. She's a very positive role model and leader on and off the playing field. Very respected by fellow students, teammates, and faculty. Very confident, enthusiastic, 
uh, an engaging young lady. She has a thirst for knowledge and an excitement to learn. She's never satisfied until her best is achieved. She has an amazing patience and understanding for other people's abilities and challenges. All of these attributes will come into play as she pursues a career in education at I believe Stonehill College. So it's with great pleasure uh, that I present this year's Stephen Brent Jacobson Scholarship Award to Victoria Cavallaro. So on to the Zerner Student Athlete Scholarship. This award was created by Dr. Jay Zerner. As I said, Jay and I were classmates at DHS and we played soccer, basketball and baseball together and are still best friends to this day. Uh, a little bit about Jay. Uh, Jay is one of the most gifted athletes I have ever known. You know, the guy that picked up any sport and was good at it immediately. Yeah, the guy you really wanted to hate. Um, it could be a core team sport or even something like ping pong, pool, darts, whatever. It just came natural to him. While we were out there grinding away at practice and during games, Jay had such an easy, effortless flow to every sport he played. Combine that with his fun, loving, carefree spirit, and most of uh, the opponents we played against did not take him seriously. That is until the game started. Jay could take over a game with the blink of an eye, yet he always put team first. This is what made him such a unique athlete and leader. By his senior year, Jay was on the top, was one of the top soccer and baseball players in the state of Maine. He furthered his baseball career at UMass Amherst and even played professionally in Australia for a few years. He now resides outside Dallas, Texas with wife and two kids and is a partner in a leading radiology group in the greater Dallas area. Jay established the Zerner Athlete Award Scholarship to recognize a deserving senior student athlete who contributes to the true sense of team, whether it be on the playing field or in the classroom. This year's recipient certainly fits that criteria. She's a very talented leader in the classroom and on the athletic field. She's described as a mature student and incredible, with an incredible work ethic and self-motivation. She's at the top of her graduating class, ranked 15th academically out of 243 students. She has received numerous academic awards and put in numerous positions of leadership. She loves to compete in field hockey and lacrosse and was elected captain of the field hockey team, which, is a, which I'm told is a combined team consisting of players from rival schools in Portland. She was selected the Maine Field Hockey Association and received the Academic All-State Award and First Team All-Conference. As you can see, she's a pretty special lady. One last thing about this year's winner. I was able to get my hands on a quote from her, which was part of the DHS season, spring season, Senior Salute to Girls Lacrosse. It provides advice from her to future DHS Rams. Her quote is, be committed, always give 100%, and always have a good attitude. It doesn't matter if it's your first year playing or your 10th, because commitment, effort, and attitude always shine through in the end. I couldn't have said it better myself. It gives me great pleasure to present the Zerner Student Athlete Scholarship to Aliyah Murph. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Mr. Jacobson. Our next presenter is Barbara Epstein, who will be joining us with audio. Thank you and congratulations. Because recent surgery has caused me to have a black and blue face, like I actually lost the boxing match, I have chosen to opt out of the video. You know, vanity, thy name is woman. Congratulations to the COVID-19 class. I prefer to use those letters. Congratulations on victory in Deering, C-O-V-I-D. It is my honor and pleasure, not only as a Deering graduate, but also as a former English and French teacher at Deering to present these two awards. The S. Charles and Dr. H. M. Weisberg Memorial Scholarship 
was established by my late mother, Sarah Trobe, in memory of her brothers, S. Charles Weisberg and Dr. H. M. Weisberg of Montreal. These two men, my bachelor uncles, visited Portland often, attended the traditional Thanksgiving Day games, and took pride in my sisters and my participation in activities while we were during students. Strong academics and ethical values were always their top priorities. Today's recipient exemplifies these values. It is my pleasure to present a virtual 2020 Weisberg Memorial Scholarship to Sophie Gallen. Congratulations. The annual Bernard Tro Prize is an award established by my sister, Priscilla Braverman and her family and me and my family in 1988 in honor of our father's special birthday. The students selected for this award exemplifies those traits instilled in us and in which uh, we have decided are the criteria for this award. A thirst for knowledge, a desire for success, compassion and integrity, and the courage of one's conviction. It is my pleasure to present another 2020 virtual Bernard Trobe Prize to Ada Diano. And may I add hello to all of those graduates and especially Mark Jacobson, to Kevin Ryan, a former student and best wishes in your futures. Thank you. And thank you so much, Ms. Epstein. Our next presenters are Allison Burnett and Tim Miller. Hi, everybody. Um, first, we also want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. It has been a fun year. Um, definitely don't go out the way we think, but it's, it's a story at least. Um, so I'm Allie Burnett, and this is my brother, uh, Tim Miller, coach at Deering High School. Um, and we're here to give out the Dance in the Rain Scholarship. This award was created after our sister lost her courageous battle with leukemia back in 2009. Erica spent her, ent her entire life always finding the positives. This situation was no different. Erica was a, a Deering grad of 1999, spent her years with a cheering squad as a two-year captain, a two-year two -year varsity club, D club president, uh, drama and dance, and pursued performance arts post-graduation at the University of New Hampshire. Um, this year's award holds a special meaning as our mother, Gloria Miller, um, the, the founder of this award in honor of our sister, um, passed away in September. So now we get the amazing pleasure of speaking. Um, this year we chose a student that was able to overcome her own personal storm to grow as a person to find her true self. Um, she is a walking mantra of Erica's favorite quote. Uh, Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's learning how to dance in the rain. This year's recipient of the Dance in the Rain Scholarship is Sophia Olori. Thank you very much. Thank you. Allison Burnett and Miss uh, and Tim. Our next award will be presented by our own Libby Heselton. Hi, good afternoon, and congratulations to all the members of the class of 2020. You are a very special group. I have the honor of presenting the Louis Trapaldi Memorial Scholarship today, and I'm presenting it on behalf of Louis's mother, Mrs. Phyllis Trapaldi, who couldn't be here today. Louis Trapaldi received many awards at Deering for sports, including the most improved and most valuable player. He also studied very hard at Deering and was forever grateful for the solid foundation that he received here. Lou attended Bowdoin and worked to pay his own tuition. He commuted to Brunswick every day. And when he was home here in Portland, he coached baseball at Payson Park and he was a very good coach and tried really hard to help every student be their best, every ball player be their best. 
In fact, he even had two or three of his players make it to the professional realm. Lou was full of loved, love and tried so hard at everything he did. He kept himself very busy and always was very kind and giving. Sadly, Lou contracted Hodgkin's disease and died when he was only 29 years old. He was so well loved that his classmates at Bowdoin donated money to build the Lewis Stephen Tripaldi weight and training facility, which Phyllis and I hope that you will go see someday. It's right on the Bowdoin campus in Brunswick. This year's recipient is the perfect person to receive this award because of her hard work, her natural gifts, her kindness, perseverance, and understanding, and her athletic ability. The others who've won this scholarship before you have done wonderful things with it, and we all know you will too. I wish you the very best of luck. Congratulations, Elizabeth Drellick. Thank you so much, Ms. Hesselton, and congratulations. Our next presenter is Ms. Eber. Sorry for the delay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Julianne Everill, and I'm the orchestra director for the middle schools and high school ensembles in the Portland Public Schools. Um, it's my pleasure to uh, talk about the Dr. Carl Everill Scholarship. It was set up in, in 2012 in memory of my husband, uh, Professor Emeritus of Queens College of the City University of New York, a twice Fulbright uh, recipient, a symphony conductor, violist, and recording artist in the Beaux-Arts String Quartet. And the recipients of tonight's scholarship uh, in his memory are two Deering High School students in the orchestra who represent the highest standards of excellence in life and in academia, as well as in their music. I have been so fortunate to have been their orchestra teacher for the past seven years. They have represented Portland Public Schools at annual music festivals and as part of our community outreach ensemble, performing at many citizenship ceremonies opening up annual city art shows and many, many other community events. Glynis O'Meara, one of our two recipients has been the orchestra's principal cellist for many seasons. Um, and she is also an annual winner and participant in the District Two Honors Music Festival, uh, competing with a radius of uh, 22 school districts in a 50 mile radius. Um, Glynis is also a debate champion among her many, many achievements. And I truly look forward to her salutatorian speech at the Ocean Gateway graduation. Uh, that's gonna be another first for Deering High School and for us all. Um, and the other recipient of this award is Joey Lancia, first violinist in our high school orchestra. He's also a switch hitter as a superb jazz musician representing Portland Public Schools at Allstate year after year throughout his high school career, in addition to District Two Honors Festival. I am so delighted to present this scholarship to these fine custodians of our future. We are all in great hands with Glynis and Joey and their graduating class of 2020. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Ms. Ebrill. Our next presenter is Deering's own Larry Nichols. Hi there. Um, it's my pleasure to um, uh, announce the Brendan Conway Memorial Scholarship. Normally I would start out by updating everyone on my modeling career, but I'm not gonna do that today uh, to keep things going. And Ms. Dame, you're doing a great job. First of all, um, Brendan Miguel Conway uh, passed away November 7th of 2013, unexpectedly from an undiagnosed heart condition while playing a game of basketball. He was born and raised in Portland and graduated from Deering High School in 1997, where he served as captain of his basketball and tennis teams. Afterward, Brendan attended Bates College in Lewiston, where he earned his degrees in psychology in 2001 and later a master's degree in social work from the University of Southern Maine. He taught special needs students at the Collaborative School in New Gloucester and at Pond Cove Elementary School in Cape Elizabeth. He also served as a family counselor with Opportunity Alliance and founded a summer camp for low-income families in Portland. 
He had coached 10 seasons as a member of the boys basketball coaching staff. Brendan also served as a Deering boys varsity tennis coach for several years and was athletic director during the 2007-2008 school year. Brendan's grace was a tender heart coupled with a fine intelligence and emotional depth. He cared deeply about family and friends. His friendships were many and substantial. This open heartedness extended to young people with whom he loved dealing with in many contexts. Brendan was an amazing positive force in our community. His impact extended far beyond the courts he both played and coached on here at Deering High School. Brendan's commitment, passion, and dedication to our youth is no more clearly exemplified by looking at the summer camp that Brendan and our own Deering staff member, Tim Crone, Cronin, founded for low-income families in Portland in 2002. Brendan wanted these kids to have a summer camp experience because he knew that financially and logistically, that was not something available to many of our city kids. So, he, so to make it happen, Brendan, at the wise old age of 23, and with Tim, thought outside the box and basically went to where the kids were and picked them up. 68 kids showed up the first go of it. And through that, these kids were able to experience many activities they normally would have never been able to, including surfing, kayaking, tubing, boating, mountain biking, underwater photography, hiking in our local state parks, and even an occasional buffet experience when the weather did not cooperate. Brendan was honest and loyal with a keen concern that people be treated fairly. And all of this leavened with a great sense of humor, a twinkle and a smile. We have selected an individual whose persona is made up of the hard work and sacrifices made by his parents and others to ensure a better life for this young man and by his grounded appreciation and awareness of those sacrifices. In addition, the young man selected is not afraid to step in and help. He doesn't need to be asked first. He reminds me of Brendan. On numerous occasions, I personally have witnessed this step up and help someone situation without being asked from this young man. These moments of caring for others while being a positive presence are just two of the reasons he has been chosen. Those instances at the, are times that would make Brendan very proud and epitomize what Brendan Conway stood for. So it's with great pleasure that the Brendan Conway Memorial Scholarship goes to Jesse Kamalandua. Congratulations, Jesse. Our next presenter is Ms. Scheibels. Take it away, Ms. Scheibels. Thank you. Thanks so much for including me in the ceremony that celebrates the accomplishments of the members of the class of 2020. I promise to be brief with my remarks. So my name is Karen Stevens Scheibels, and although I'm a teacher at Deering, I'm presenting tonight on behalf of my entire family to honor the memory of my father, John E. Stevens. My father grew up in the Woodford Street neighborhood and attended local schools. He captained the basketball team at Deering and then at Colby College. Shortly after college, he married my mom, his high school sweetheart, and he went on to earn his MBA and then settle back in the Portland area to raise me and my siblings and to establish himself as a successful businessman in the community. But at the age of 40, when I was starting my freshman year at Deering, my dad lost his battle with brain cancer. As a family, it was decided that establishing a scholarship at the school he so loved would be a great way to honor his memory. So each and every year since 1984, my family has been awarding the Johnny e. Stevens Memorial Scholarship to two deserving student athletes who possess qualities similar to my father. Determination, commitment, sportsmanship, leadership, and school pride. And each year that I've presented this award, and I think I've personally presented the last 28 years, my mom will ask me about the recipients. She'll ask, do I know them? Are they good school citizens? Are they worthy? I'm proud to say that the 2020 recipients of the John E. Stevens Memorial Scholarship are more than worthy. I've watched them grow and develop as outstanding student athletes during their time at Deering. And I so look forward to seeing what the future holds for them. Congratulations to this year's recipients Livia Serapa and Antonio Chico Mancini. Thank you very much, Ms. Scheibels. Our next presenter is our athletic director, Mr. Daly, who 
will be speaking to us with audio. Thank Go ahead, you, Mr. Daly. Welcome. I'm the co-curricular athletic director at Deering, for those of you who don't know me. And I'd like to say congratulations to all of our award recipients tonight and to all of our seniors. And we miss you. Uh, we are proud of you all and good luck. Tonight, I present the Merv Kilgore Coaches Awards. And these are presented each year to the top male and the top female student athlete at Daring High School. Our first award recipient has certainly left his mark on Daring on and off the fields. During his four years, he has excelled as a four sport athlete in soccer, football, basketball, and lacrosse. And he added a fifth this March with club volleyball. In addition, he has taken several AP and honors classes and he's a member of the National Honor Society. During his career, he received the SMAA All Academic Award in, in almost every sport, every season. He also has served the school as a Daring Ambassador on Student Senate and as a Seeds of Peace Mediator. He has been the backbone of our boys soccer program as a goalie and this year he led by example as team captain and received South Region and SMA All-Star Awards. Amazingly, during the fall, he also starred as the place kicker for our football team. He was honored as the DHS Fall Athlete of the Season for his contributions. His winter sport was basketball, and this year he served as team captain too, and he helped lead the Rams to an historic win in the Class AA Regional Semifinal against Bangor. In the spring, he has led Deering's lacrosse team as goalie into many victories. He's considered one of the top lacrosse goalies in the region, and he was selected captain this spring. This impressive student athlete will be attending Colby College, and he hopes to play basketball. He was recently named the 2020 SMAA Citizenship Award winner from Deering. It is my honor to present the Merv Kilgore Award to a true student leader and an exceptional young man, captain of three teams and a five-sport athlete at Deering, Max Morioni. Our second award recipient has been a three season varsity athlete throughout her four years at Deering. As a freshman, she played field hockey, basketball and softball, all at the varsity level. By sophomore year, she had gained a starting spot in all three varsity sports. By the beginning of senior year, she had established herself as a tenacious driven athlete and a top student and a school leader. Her senior campaign started with her deciding to play football. She played as a JV middle linebacker this year and saw some time on varsity as well. She even got to rush the ball a few times. She has served as softball team captain and was elected team captain this year for girls basketball. More importantly, this remarkable student athlete in person has achieved just as much in the classroom and in co-curricular pursuits. She has taken several AP and honors classes and for senior year, she was dual enrolled at Deering and USM and was taking all of her classes at the university level. She was also named to the SMAA all academic team for football and for girls basketball this year. Among her many activities, she has served as junior class president and was part of the redesign of Deering student government. Like Max, she also was named the 2020 SMAA citizenship award winner from Deering. Her goal is to make the world a better place. And I am quite certain she will. And in my opinion, she already has. It is my honor to present the Merv Kilgore Award to a truly amazing and exceptional young woman and someone who truly embodies Deering Pride, Elizabeth Drunk. Thank you very much, Mr. Daly. Our next presenter is Mr. Dodge. There we are. <laughs> it is my distinct pleasure to present the debate award to two of the best debaters I've had the joy of coaching. I remember on multiple occasions, the two of them passionately arguing over the tiniest of differences in one interpretation of a contention, not even the contention itself. They were arguing so passionately that other teachers nearby were worried a fight was about to break out. Other students would slink away in terror, and even I wondered if things had gone too far. 
But of course they hadn't. And with a quick smile from both of them, I realized just how good they are at what they do. A wise man once said, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies, but a great deal more to stand up to your friends. Their values of passion, friendship, teamwork, and zeal have inspired me, the team, Deering High School, Portland as a whole, and many other debaters across the state. In the words of Christopher Buckley, that's the beauty of argument. If you argue correctly, you're never wrong. And let the record show that these two students were never wrong. The 2020 Debate Award goes to Conrad Gabriel and Glynis O'Mara. Thank you so much, Mr. Dodge. Our next presenter is Dr. Ahmed. Uh, my name is Abdullahi Ahmed, and I'm one of the co-principals at Deering High School. And congratulations to all of you, the class of 2020. That is last Ziamana has served the Deering community extremely very well as a student body president. Larry, he grew into this role throughout the year. Most recently, Larry helped lead us through the trials and the challenges we faced this spring. Please join me in thanking Larry for his dedication and service to the Deering community. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Our next presenter is Ms. Callahan. Hi everyone, um, I'm Molly Callahan. I'm one of the English language development teachers and I'm here to present the Multilingual Award for Academic Achievement and Good Citizenship. This year, this award goes to Yasmin Edu. This award is given in recognition of Yasmin's work with our school's beginning English learners as a teaching assistant in the ELL English Level One class. We also recognize Yasmin's work and achievements as a leader of the Black Students Union. Next year, Yasmin will attend the University of Southern Maine as a health science major on a pre-med track. Yasmin, we wish you every success in your future, inshallah. Thank you, Ms. Callahan. Our next presenter is Ms. Cockrell. Hello everyone. This award is given in recognition of the recipient's steady commitment to language learning during their time at Deering. Entering in ninth grade in beginner level classes, the student worked gradually and steadily to improve. During her senior year, she shared her talents with others as a kind, patient, and helpful teaching assistant for new beginners. She also earned the seal of biliteracy in English and French. She's planning to continue her studies at Portland Adult Education and then in 2021 at college. This year's award for outstanding achievement in language acquisition goes to Melian Bora. Congratulations, Melian. We're so proud of you and can't wait to see what's next. Thank you, Ms. Cockrell. Our next presenter is Ms. Dixon. Hi everyone. Um, my name's Ann Dixon. I'm the cluster coordinator <clears throat> for World Languages at Deering. First of all, I'd really like to congratulate the entire class of 2020 it's a remarkable group and I'm going to miss all of you. Um, 
well, I miss you already, so I'll miss, so I'll keep on missing you. Um, I'm here tonight to present the award for outstanding academic achievement in world language. Every year we give this award to someone who displays academic excellence and a passion for world languages. This year's recipient <clears throat> um, demonstrates both the academic excellence and the passion. She studied Spanish through the AP level at Daring. And um, she's also spent a summer in Madrid, Spain, where she studied Spanish language and culture. Uh, we wish her well as she heads off to Mount Holyoke College in the fall. I'm pleased to present the World Language Award for Excellence to Mariah Carpenter. Thank you, Ms. Dixon. Our next presenter is Dr. Stigney. Sorry, everyone, let me try one thing. Dr. Stickney, are you here? There. Great. We've got it. Oh, relief. Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations to Class 2020. It's so awesome. A wonderful time of life. I'm here on behalf of the music department to present an outstanding music award. And this year's recipient is very worthy. Joey Lancia is the week worthy recipient of this award on the basis of his determination to keep playing his saxophone in the band and everywhere else and violin in the orchestra, as well as participating in various jazz ensembles, despite having a very busy schedule as an athlete and scholar and not having easy access to school groups. Joey was auditioned into several honors festivals, including the District 2 Band and Honors Jazz and Allstate Jazz several years. His love of music and commitment to music is evident as he was always willing, always willing to join in anyone just for fun, including last minute invitation to plug into the jazz night this year and helping with the middle school jazz. Joey, blessings and peace and bravo and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Stickney. Welcome. Our next presenter is Ms. Rolf. Are we all set? Yes, Ms. Ralph, we can hear you, thanks. Hello. Hi everyone, um, I'm Audrey Ralph, art teacher at Deering, and I have the pleasure of presenting the Senior Last Assembly Award for Art. This award is given each year to a senior student who not only has tremendous art skills, but is also a problem solver. Artists solve problems concerning design, communication, and content. Some artists go beyond and have the courage to bring about positive change through their art. The student receiving this award has achieved that status, especially this year. She was a leader of the mural project, a 55 foot wall painting depicting flowers representing our students' nationalities, all of our students' nationalities. Her work conveyed the clear message that every student at Deering High School is highly valued and that we are proud of our diversity. I wanna thank this student for her dedication and for her commitment to art and the powerful messages it conveys. We wish you well in your future studies, combining art, illustration, and marketing. 
I'm really proud and happy to present this award to Riley Ruo. Thank you, Ms. Rolf. For our next presentation, I'm going to bring back Mr. Nichols. And Nichols, I'll just have you um, speak your award. Okay. All right. So um, this, I'm going to present the Multimedia and Technology Award for 2020. It's going to go to uh, Ladislas uh, Neymana, uh, commonly known as Laddie. And um, he is a young man that has on every occasion worked to make not only technology work, but to have it serve a purpose of making the school, his community and those it serves better. He has served as one of the heads of the student tech team. He was awarded a grant for paying with a purpose because of his potential filmmaking skills. He's a student leader. He includes others whenever possible. I tried to convince him that he and I were both Scottish, but he wouldn't hear of it. He's creative, he's thoughtful, disarming, determined, and blessed with a smile that really means I'm going to get it done and I hope you join me. We could not be more proud to have Laddie the recipient of this award. Thanks, Laddie. Thank you, Mr. Nichols. Our next presenter is Mr. Rogers. Am I good now? Yes. I'm representing uh, Ms. Labby and myself as the cluster coordinators and on behalf of our whole math department. Uh, we would also like to congratulate the class of 2020. And on behalf of myself and my generation, I apologize to the class of 2020 that uh, my generation did not do enough to right the injustices of the country but we are confident that you as leaders in this country will be able to do a better job than we did. Uh, I'd like to offer you just a quick piece of advice. I know graduation speakers will give you uh, tidbits of wisdom into the future. Mine is more immediate. I remember well my senior last assembly, it was held in a hot crowded auditorium. Presenters went on and on and on like me now. And as I sat in my cap and gown and listened to them, the math award being laid in the program like this was being presented. And the presenter was listing the accomplishments of the soon to be recipient and being a distracted 17 year old male, I leaned over at the end of this description to my friend and said, boy, what a geek. As I did that, unfortunately I missed the presenter calling my name. So my advice to you is listen, you could be the recipient of one of these awards. So on to our award, the Outstanding Achievement in Mathematics. Our recipient obviously loves math so much that our department could just not contain her as she maxed out taking calculus BC in her junior year. Not done with math, she went on to take courses her senior year at USM in linear algebra and calculus C. There was no need to be a mathematician to calculate her GPA in her math courses at Darren High School as she got 100 in each and every one of them. I do not know her firsthand that well, although I had the great opportunity to meet her in gym class freshman year and saw how humorous she was and how she already seemed to have the world figured out at a young age. So I look for a little more guidance from a couple of my colleagues who know her better. And it was interesting to hear that although she is an outstanding student, they talked more about her selfless acts than about her academia. Uh, Mr. Cherry, I will quote, he said, this young lady takes an active interest in all the people she sees around her and uses her experiences in a positive way. Another person I went to, friend and colleague, Brian Dodge. Mr. Dodge said, she's very unique. It's, she uses her remarkable abilities 
to elevate all of those people around her. She's an outstanding person. Mr. Dodge summed it up with three H's. She's humble, hilarious, and hungry for more. And she will be part of this class of 2020 that will go make our world a better place. It's my pleasure to congratulate Glennis O'Meara. Thank you so much, Mr. Rogers. Our next presenter is Ms. Bean. Hi everyone, um, hello to the class of 2020 graduates. Like, like Ms. Dixon said earlier, um, I miss you all already a lot um, and I hope you're doing well and congratulations. Um, I have the honor of presenting the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award in Social Studies. This year's recipient demonstrates civic mindedness within the school and broader community, as well as high academic achievement. She is a thinker, listener, questioner, and leader. The National Council for Social Studies states that the primary purpose of this discipline is to help young people make informed and reasoned decisions for the public good as citizens of a culturally diverse democratic society in an interdependent world. The student receiving this award embodies these ideals through her work with Seeds of Peace and her active and thoughtful participation on the school board. Sahar Habibzai, it is my honor to present you with this year's award. Thank you for your civic engagement and leadership. Keep using your voice, the world needs it. Thank you, Ms. Bean. Our next presenter is Ms. Romano. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Romano, an English teacher at Deering, and I'm here to present the Outstanding Academic Achievement in English Award, which is also in memory of Gladys Tilton, who was a beloved English teacher at Deering. So this award is presented to a student who reflects the traditional academic virtues of rigor, diligence, and a deep love of literature. This year, our top student showed tremendous dedication to and significant growth in advanced English literature skills while remaining humble and genuinely curious to learn. We're pleased to present this award uh, this year to Jessica Ross. Thank you, Ms. Romano. Our next presenter is Mr. McLean. Are we here? Yes. As so many have said, um, I wanna wish congratulations to all of you in the class of 2020. Um, and I have to tell you the, the one part that I really miss most about this time of year is getting to mess around with all of you as Mr. Legage and I teach you how to march. Um, and that poor guy is usually playing the role of the adult while I bounce around like a soft headed fun uncle. Um, but uh, it's a fond memory and I get to usually have a good time with all of you. Um, as Ms. Dame mentioned, uh, my name is Mr. McLean, Ian McLean, as cluster coordinator of the science department, it's my distinct pleasure to present the Outstanding Academic Achievement in Science Award. As one might expect from a bunch of science nerds, we try to keep the criteria for choosing a recipient uh, as data-driven as possible. Usually we look for the student who amassed the greatest number of science credits, and then when there are ties, we use the highest overall grade point average in those classes. And the several years that I have had the honor of doing this, this year's recipient had the highest GPA in her science courses than anyone else has in recent past. This should come not as a surprise as it's not unique to her performance in science. What is unique is her quiet, unassuming and humble demeanor while simultaneously crushing it in school and holding down an outside job on top of all that 
attributes the whole science department appreciates. Uh, keeping all of her options open, she plans on studying something in STEM at Tufts University. I'm pleased to congratulate Sarah Riggins. Thank you, Mr. McLean. I am also, while I have command of the screen, I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize the fifth year, I believe it is, of students who qualify for the district's STEM endorsement at Deering High School. These students had to accumulate 20 credits of coursework in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. In addition, they had to accumulate 50 more hours balanced between extending learning opportunities and or a capstone project or internship in one of those areas, which was particularly challenging uh, this year. And if we were in person, you would all come forward and receive a medallion in honor of your accomplishment. I'm gonna have to get those to you later. Instead, we'll see some really great photos uh, of all of you as I read your names. First, we have Miranda Beard, Mariah Carpenter, Salam Desta, River Dufour, Sophie Galen, Sahar Habibzai, Owen McLaughlin, Jason Pichette, Lily Russell, Samatra Sam, and Sarah Riggins. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, Mr. McLean. At this time, we are honored to have an artistic interlude by Poetry Out Loud state finalist and Deering student, Daniela Ariai. See It Through by Edgar Gass. When you're up against a trouble, meet it squarely face to face. Lift your chin, sit your shoulders, Punch your feet and take a brace. When it's vain to try to dodge it, do the best that you can do. You may fail, but you may conquer. See it through. Black may be the clouds about you, and your future may seem grim. But don't let your nerve desert you. Keep yourself in fighting trim. If the worst is bound to happen, in spite of all that you can do, running from it will not save you. See it through. Even hope may seem but futile when with trouble you are beset. But remember, you are facing just what other men have met. You may fail, but fall is still fighting. Don't give up, whatever you do. Eyes front, head high to the finish. See it through. Thank you and good luck to the class of 2020. Thank you, Daniela. At this time, I'm going to let Andrew Gordon take over the audio um, as we present our scripted awards. Mr. Gordon, are you there? I am here, I'm ready, I'm just waiting. Families, yeah. friends, honored guests, and of course, our Deering High School class of 2020, and I have the honor and privilege of presenting scholarships and recognition awards to individual members of this very special class. I will read the name of each award recipient, followed by the name of the next recipient, so it is easy to follow along, and there will be a chance to honor each student with a photo as their award or awards are being read. So I'm starting with Danielle, Ariai, followed by Miranda Beard. Daniela is this year's recipient of a scholarship from the College Club of Portland. Each year, this group provides scholarships to academically successful and deserving senior girls. 
Next is Miranda Beard, followed by Melian Bora. Miranda is being honored with the Clarence and Dorothy McDonald Memorial Scholarship given annually to a student with strong moral values and a solid academic work ethic who is interested in the medical field. Melian Bora to be followed by Charlene Butera. In addition to previously receiving the Outstanding Achievement in Language Acquisition, Melian is being honored with the Ellen Stoddard Award, which recognizes a senior who displays perseverance, enthusiasm, and loyalty to Deering High School. Charlene, Charlene Butera will be followed by Mariah Carpenter. Charlene is being presented with the Janice M. Hutchinson Award. This award recognizes a graduating senior for outstanding character and integrity in the face of personal challenge. Mariah Carpenter will be followed by Hope Carroll. In addition to previous recognition for outstanding academic achievement in world languages, Mariah is being honored with an aspiration scholarship which recognizes students who possess a fondness of science and math and who exhibit an open mind a good sense of humor, spontaneity of life, and care and concern for others. Hope Carroll will be followed by Gianna Charest. Hope is being honored with a Levy Foundation Award, which acknowledges students who exhibit outstanding character and scholastic excellence. She's also being presented with the Portland Kiwanis Book Reimbursement Award by our Kiwanis Club which recognizes deserving senior members who have shown extraordinary commitment to community service through their work with the Key Club. Gianna Charest, followed by Chloe Delano. Gianna is receiving the Richard H. McGarvey Scholarship, awarded each year in honor of Dick McGarvey, who served as principal of Lyseth Elementary School for many memorable years. It was Mr. McGarvey's dream that all students from Lyseth would use knowledge meaningfully throughout life, and his hope was that they would become lifelong learners in the classroom, in their community, on the sports field, and beyond. Chloe Dolano, followed by Matteo De Mucci. Chloe is the recipient of the John J. McCann Memorial Scholarship, awarded to an excellent student athlete who is planning to enter a science or engineering design related field. The recipient must have an open mind, concern for others, respect for the diversity of life and a sense of humor, all attributes befitting of Chloe. Matteo De Mucci will be followed by Salam Desta. Matteo is the recipient of the Neil S. Manley Award, given to a deserving senior who plans to further his education in the business world. Salam Desta will be followed by River Dufour. Salam is being honored with the John E. Ham Jr. Award, which was established in honor of a former longtime Deering High School assistant principal. This award recognizes outstanding students who pursue knowledge, wisdom, and purpose. River Dufour, followed by Conrad Gabriel. River is receiving a Dwight R. Parker Scholarship. Each year, Parker Scholarships are awarded to students who have exhibited excellence in the classroom, qualities of leadership and good fellowship, or ability in athletics. Conrad Gabriel, to be followed by Sophie Galen. Adding to the DHS Debate Achievement Award presented earlier, Conrad is also the recipient of the Rotary Youth Service Award. This award was given earlier by the Portland Rotary Club in recognition of Conrad's achievements and leadership for the Yellow Tulip Project. Sophie Galen, followed by Sahar Habibzai. In addition to being previously recognized with the S. Charles and Dr. H. Maurice Weisberg Memorial Scholarship, Sophie is this year's recipient of the Christine Wagner Memorial Science Award. This award is given annually in memory of Christine Wagner, a highly respected chemistry teacher who fought a long battle with diabetes during her tenure here at Deering. Mrs. Wagner was a selfless individual who had a passion for science, and each year the science department honors a student who plans to pursue a career in science 
and who best exemplifies the character and spirit of Mrs. Wagner. Lastly, Sophie is also the second recipient of a John E. Ham Jr. Award established in honor of a former longtime Deering High School assistant principal. The award recognizes outstanding students who pursue knowledge, wisdom, and purpose. Congratulations, Sophie. Zaha Habibzai will be followed by Rachel Hall. Previously recognized for outstanding academic achievement in social studies, Zaha is also receiving a Catherine O'Brien scholarship for achievement in math, the Principal's Award, and an Arthur S. and Iris G. McPhee scholarship, which recognizes a promising college-bound student. Rachel Hall to be followed by Jackson Harbour. Rachel is being presented with the Ray Surgeon Perseverance Award. Ray Surgeon, meaning like the phoenix to rise again, is a fitting name for this award, which is given to a student who has faced adversity throughout the high school years and yet still persevered. Jackson Harbour, followed by Christian Harmon. Jackson is receiving a Moore Middle School Scholarship. Christian Harmon, followed by Marlena Hartum. Christian is one of this year's recipients of a Trice Scholarship Award, which is presented annually to students who have overcome personal obstacles and persevered, recognizing the importance of education in their future. Marlena Hartum, followed by Adelina Homewood. The Jane McCormack Scholarship is being awarded to Marlena. The McCormack Scholarship is given annually to a hardworking, vivacious girl who makes people smile and may aspire to go into teaching. In addition, she is also receiving a John E. Ham Jr. Award, recognizing her pursuit of knowledge, wisdom, and purpose. Adelina Homewood, followed by Kaya Isahar. Adelina, oh, sorry, Adelina is being honored with Altrusa International's Mary Stiles Scholarship, given to a female student who makes life better for her family or community by demonstrating kindness, compassion, concern for others, generosity, and citizenship. Kaya Isahar, followed by William Jordan. Kaya is the recipient of the Portland Administrator Association Award. William Jordan, followed by Prise Josephine. Will is receiving a Dwight R. Parker Scholarship for his excellence in the classroom, qualities of leadership, and good fellowship and ability in athletics. Prise Josephine, followed by Cassandra Kratzer. Prise is this year's recipient of the Tyler Grand Mason Melmac Scholarship, which is given annually to a student who is a good citizen, contributing to both school and community. Cassandra Kratzer, followed by Darcy Lally. Cassie is receiving the Mary Boff Memorial Scholarship, given every other year to a deserving student for recognition of good character. She's also receiving the Class of 2020 President's Council Award for her service to the initiatives of the senior class. Darcy Lally, followed by Joseph Valencia. Darcy is being presented with the Angelique Abraham Memorial Scholarship Award, given to a senior girl who exemplifies Angie's love of sports, family, friends, and life itself. Joseph Lancia, followed by Kiana Lee. In addition to previous recognition for both the Dr. Carl Eberly Scholarship and Outstanding Achievement in Music, Joey is receiving a Lewis S. Black Memorial Scholarship in honor of a college-bound senior who exhibits integrity and perseverance. Kiana Lee, followed by Anthony Leng. Kiana is being presented with a Rennie's Charitable Foundation Scholarship. Anthony Lang, followed by Gabriel Umbambi.
Anthony is this year's recipient of the Bath Savings Institution Award. Gabriel Ombambi, followed by Noah McLeod. Gabe is being honored with the Tony Germain Memorial Scholarship. Tony was a member of the Deering High School class of 1957, who passed away at 18 years old. He was a young philosopher and writer who took the time, walking the Deering hallways, to care about his fellow students and about life. Tony planned on attending Middlebury College before his family, friends, and school community lost him. This award is for a current student who, like Tony, has made significant contributions to the culture and life of Deering High School. Congratulations, Gabe. Noah McLeod, followed by Maxwell Morioni. Noah is being honored with the Roger Calderwood Award, which recognizes a deserving student who plans to study English in college. Maxwell Morioni, followed by Angel Mugizi. In addition to previously receiving the Merv Kilgore Coaches Award, Max is also the recipient of the Arthur P. Corey Memorial Scholarship. This award is given annually to a senior boy with outstanding academic and athletic ability who also contributes as a good school citizen. Angel Mugizi, followed by Richard Mutware. Angel is being presented with the Rennie's Charitable Foundation Scholarship in recognition of her promise as a future contributor to our Poland economy. Richard Mutware, followed by Elizabeth Nazazi. Richard is receiving a Catherine O'Brien Scholarship for Achievement in Math, the Pi Cohen Math Team Award, and a scholarship from Friends International. Friends International encourages friendship through multicultural understanding. This year's recipient is a model of kindness and perseverance and his gentle ways and remarkable intellect are welcome additions to our community. This scholarship is given to help you do more good. Congratulations, Richard. Elizabeth Nazazi, followed by Kyle Nelson. Elizabeth is being awarded the Mary Townshend Memorial Scholarship, which honors a deserving senior girl who plans to further her education. Elizabeth has shown how much can be accomplished with perseverance and grace. Kyle Nason, Nelson, sorry, followed by Ladislas Unzayamana. Kyle is receiving the Harriet Kaplan Award for Excellence in English. Ladislas Unzayamana, followed by Domingos Nzuzi. Previously recognized for outstanding academic achievement in multimedia technology and the DHS Student Body President Recognition Award, Ladi is also being honored with the DHS Service Award for being an involved school citizen who demonstrates natural leadership abilities. Thank you, Ladi, for your service and dedication to the Deering community. Domingos Nzuzi, followed by Yola Nzuzi. Domingos is the recipient of a scholarship from Gorham Savings Bank. Gorham Savings Bank, a financial institution deeply rooted in supporting young people in the communities they serve, generously awards this scholarship to a Deering graduate in recognition of the dedication and commitment they have shown in achieving excellence throughout their high school career. Yola Nzuzi, followed by Glynis O'Meara. Yola is being presented with a Rennie's Charitable Foundation Scholarship in recognition of her hard work and potential. Glynis O'Meara, followed by Jason Fichette. Congratulations to Glynis, the salutatorian of the class of 2020. In addition to previous recognition for a Dr. Carl Eberle Scholarship, a Legislative Certificate of Achievement, the DHS Debate Achievement Award, and Outstanding Academic Achievement in Mathematics, Glynn has, is receiving a Lewis S. Black Memorial Scholarship in honor of a college-bound senior who exhibits integrity and perseverance. We would also like to congratulate her on being a National Merit finalist. Go Glynis. Jason Pichette, 
to be followed by Michael Randall. Jason is being honored with the Harry E. Cummings Award presented to a deserving student who plans to pursue a career in engineering. Michael Randall, followed by Riley Rio. Michael is being awarded the Sam Aceto Memorial Scholarship, which recognizes a member of the football team who embodies what it means to be a daring ram on and off the field. Sidelined by a torn hamstring after only the first game and a half of the 2019 season, Michael's football journey as a senior came full circle when he bounced back after a long rehab stint and played an amazing Thanksgiving Day game versus PHS. He led the Rams to a big season ending win versus the rival Bulldogs and won the Daring Game MVP award. Of significant note is that Michael never missed a single practice or game after his injury senior year. His contributions in the example he set working through his rehab made a big impact on the Rams and truly embodied resiliency, the value of hard work and total team commitment. Riley Ryu, followed by Jessica Ross. In addition to being celebrated for outstanding academic achievement in art, Riley is this year's recipient of the Mary R. Bennett Memorial Scholarship. The award was created to commemorate Ms. Bennett, who was significantly active in a number of local business organizations, including the Order of the Eastern Star, and is designed to go to a student who is community-minded and plans to pursue collegiate study in business. Riley is also this year's recipient of the LCS Widden Book Award, given to an English student who possesses an optimistic spirit, writes perceptively, enjoys spirited conversation, and likes to explore perspectives and grapple with complex ideas. Jessica Ross to be followed by Lily Russell. In addition to previous recognition for the Gladys L. Tilton Award for Excellence in English, Jessica is receiving a Moore Middle School Scholarship. Lily Russell will be followed by Sumatra Sam. Lily, sorry. Lily is this year's recipient of the Carlton L. Wiggins Scholarship, which recognizes an excellent student who exemplifies the high standards of Mr. Wiggins a former longtime principal of Deering High School. She's also being presented with the Elizabeth Ring Award for Excellence in History, as well as the Kate Robinson Memorial Scholarship, which is given annually in memory of a former Deering English teacher. This award recognizes a gifted student who has served the school and community and who exhibits compassion and concern for others. If you know Lily, you know this describes her to a T. So Samatra Sam, followed by Charles Scalia Bruce. Sumatra is receiving the Longfellow Elementary Future Teachers Scholarship. The goal of the Future Teachers of America Club is to introduce high school students to the teaching profession and to provide them with basic teaching and leadership skills to mentor elementary school students. Throughout her high school career, she's encouraged and motivated young students at Longfellow Elementary School to do their best and her kind and gentle manner endeared her to the many children she has helped. She's also being honored with the Sergeant Lee Adams Memorial Scholarship. Sergeant Adams died while serving his country in the military and the scholarship in Lee's name is designed to honor him and the life he led. The recipient is a student who consistently demonstrates enthusiasm for life and who is interested in a community oriented career in a medically related field or in human relations. Well done, Sumatra. Charles Scalia Bruce, followed by Sumayo Shaib. Charlie is being honored with an Aspiration Scholarship, which recognizes students who possess a fondness of science and math and who exhibit an open mind, a good sense of humor, spontaneity of life, and care and concern for others. Sumaya Shaib, followed by Claire Sheehy. Samayo is being awarded with the Thomas Curran Memorial Scholarship. Mr. Curran was a beloved English teacher at Deering who elevated everyone around him. He encouraged every student to dig deep within, to be ambitious and to believe in themselves. Claire Sheehy followed by Isabella Strout. Claire is, 
is receiving a Moore Middle School Scholarship. Isabella Strout, followed by Iris Tater. Isabella is being recognized with a Trice Scholarship Award, which is, presented, which is presented annually to students who have overcome personal obstacles and persevered, recognize the importance of education in their future. Iris Tater, followed by Reagan Toppen. Iris is receiving the Francis Houston Award for Outstanding Achievement in English. Reagan Toppen, followed by Cindy Trin. Reagan is receiving the Portland Education Association Scholarship, as well as being recognized with the Breccia Creative Voice of Deering Award. The Breccia Award honors students who demonstrate a strong aptitude for creative writing and whose skill at capturing the human experience through rich figurative language sets them apart from their peers. Not only does this particular student fulfill these criteria, but her writing also exemplifies the power of language to create social change. In addition to a steady stream of accepted submissions to Breccia, Reagan Toppen has performed at poetry slams and school assemblies, where she has used her formidable writing skills to amplify issues ranging from gun violence to mental health. It is with, it is with great excitement that we recognize Reagan's talent and commitment to creative writing. Congratulations, Reagan. Cindy Trin will be followed by William Bashan. Cindy is this year's recipient of the Philip H. Chapman Memorial Award. William Vashon, followed by Sydney Walsh. Will is receiving a Moore Middle School Scholarship. Sydney Walsh, followed by Sarah Riggins. Sydney is receiving a Dwight R. Parker Scholarship for her excellence in the classroom qualities of leadership and good fellowship or ability in athletics. And finally, Sarah Riggins. Many congratulations to Sarah, the valedictorian of the class of 2020. In addition to being previously recognized with the Legislative Certificate of Achievement and for Outstanding Achievement <laughs> in Science, Sarah is being honored with the Dwight R. Parker Scholarship as well as the Philip Chadbourne Memorial Scholarship given to a senior who has displayed exemplary scholastic and leadership qualities. Well done, Sarah. This concludes the presentation of awards and scholarships and the class of 2020, you are one step closer to graduation. Now for a farewell address from the co-presidents, Ronald Sanchez and Gabe Mbambi. Congratulations to all of you who received awards tonight. Hope you use your voice to combat injustice anywhere and everywhere. We are not the generation to be silent. Understand no one can take away knowledge, but your knowledge needs to be used. Otherwise, what good is it? The paradox of education is precisely this, that as one begins to become conscious, one begins to examine the society in which he is being educated. James Baldwin. With this, we want to say thank you to all who could make it. We wish the absolute best for the 2020 DHS senior class. Congratulations. Thank you, everyone. Thus concludes our first virtual senior last assembly. We wanna thank everyone who participated and presented. Um, it was wonderful to see all of our students and congratulations to this phenomenal, phenomenal class who has faced so much with so much bravery and resilience. You are an inspiration.